Look at it go. Look at it go. I'll get you, turtles. Adrenos used to be a wondrous place, a rich and prosperous island, home to a busy trading port. But that was not meant to last. It began when strange formations like giant soil tracks started to appear across the island. No one was able to explain how they were made. Soon after the formations appeared, earthquakes followed. Weak at first, they grew more frequent and more violent. A few days later, three volcanoes erupted in the island lagoon, hurling stones, sinking ships, crushing buildings. Captains feared for the safety of their vessels. All trade stopped. People left Adranos aboard fleeing ships. The brave few who had remained soon regretted their decision. An enormous volcano that lay dormant for centuries erupted, flooding the island with a pyroclastic wave, covering it with lava and hurling stones miles away. Those who had made it to the ships were evacuated, myself among them. What we left behind was an apocalyptic landscape of fire and dust. Periodic eruptions turned our beautiful home into a hellish nightmare, disrupting both naval and aerial traffic for years. Despite their best efforts, not even the best imperial geologists were able to explain the volcano's sudden appearance. Several years later, exiles from Adranos secured funding for an expedition to return to the island and discover what happened. It was my honor to serve as the captain of the Archimedes submarine. As we surfaced a safe distance from Adranos' shore, we knew that this expedition to reclaim our homeland had only just begun. Pyroclastic flows are no joke. They are incredibly deadly. I think it basically just amounts to if you're in the zone where it happens, you are no more. Period. Because it's kind of like a mountain erupting and ex and collapsing and exploding on you all in one go. Hello. Captain is 10 meters away. Going into this, my understanding of this is basically... An open world survival game type thing. It might be a little scrap mechanic y, I don't know. We'll see how much building freedom there is. But we had a little glimpse of it on that starting screen when that the Krang driller started unfolding into compartments. Craft drill ship core. Good day, sailor. Before you we can continue with the expedition, you will have to construct a device. Follow the given objectives, and you will soon be piloting your own drill ship. Get the ship core upgrade to the player inventory. Accept. Alright. So over here. Lava source 1, 2, and 3. Look at all the stuff, all the details going on here. Look at all this. Hmm. Interesting looking map. Oh. What is all this? What are all these mechanics? Huh. Oh, volcanic eruption in 10 minutes. Shit. Uh, uh, I just realized that's there. Better to time to. Oh, that you. we weren't joking about Sailor. Well, no sails, though. It was a submarine, but still. I thought we were already inside the drill thing, and that's. No, we just, we're just getting off of a submarine. Okay. Press 2 to equip a pickaxe. Go to ore deposits. Equip to the pickaxe. There's some coal up there. There's some copper. Copper scrap. Die scrap. Alright. We gotta be in a hurry. Bad stuff's gonna happen in 10 minutes. There we go. We got our 20 copper. That's a start. We need coal. Hustle, hustle. But yeah, as per usual with this genre, this will not be a comprehensive preview. Uh, you always, you always got to take a closer look if you find the initial thing interesting, because these games are always usually quite the well to jump into. That's a little hard to get into in a one-off uh, introduction video. 
This is a little tease that it can make you know said thing exists. And you can investigate from there. Use submarine systems for protection. So we craft our stuff in the submarine. Fall damage? Oh, I didn't actually fall off. I ran straight down a, a steep hill, so I didn't find out if there was fall damage or not. 60 frames per second and 60 GPU frame per second. Huh. I feel like I've never really heard it put that quite that way. There's all this stuff around here. Storage. How's my inventory eye? There we go. Got slugs for my shotgun. We're prepped with healing items and offensive weapons right off the bat. Sulfur powder is in, oh, it's over here. Just randomly in this container. The storage is empty, though. Ah, copper ingot. Oh. Well, that would have been useful a second ago, wouldn't it? We're running out of time before this eruption happens. Go to the storage module, click left. Okay. Uh, yeah. Yes. Craft core. Core. Drill ship core. Incre uh, there we go. It's easier to see there. Upgrade increasing ship's energy and slot count after placing into the drill ship's core upgrade slot. Okay, character, that's what I got. How do I... How do I craft it? Click it with left mouse bumper button or E. Quest is to craft the core. This thing, right? Storage module. Is there another storage module that is the correct one to, to interact with? Maybe this one? Uh... <laughs> it's counting down to an, a volcanic eruption. I can't figure out what they want from me. Oh, you drag it. Okay, so character? Drag? No? Upgrades, upgrades, object, huh? Ha. Huh. <laughs> what does it mean? Go to the ship, uh, how do I, uh, look at my quests. It says, my quest is to craft a, okay, go to the storage module, click with left mouse button, re. And then what? <laughs> uh... <laughs> this is enough, right? This is enough to hide? Okay, I just checked Durf's playthrough of this game. Eh? There we go. <laughs> That's what I was supposed to do. I was supposed to click up there. That's different from that. Those are different things, apparently. Oh no, everyone saw. So yeah, by the way, Durf's playing this game. It's probably going to be a series, I would assume, and not just a one-off, but I don't know. But you can check it out on his channel, too. It's still, still a horrible, horrible 30 seconds away. Alright, so copper to storage. Do I want to put them in the online tab? Okay, now coal and copper are in there. I'll put those guys in there too, screw it. Why not? Put in a bunch of this excess. Oh, let's look at the periscope. Let's look at this. Show me, oh. Whoa. That's probably not good. Let's, let's stay in here. Oh. Um, yeah, I can't really see. I can see a submarine out there. Wait, where? Wait, where is this? Wait, where is this periscope? The the submarine's over there. What perspective am I seeing right now? Exactly. Oh wow! Wow. So, volcanic eruption's no joke in this game. Look at this place. That's a mess. Alright, you go to the power module on ceiling and click it with left mouse bumper. 
Hi. Go to the refinery module on the wall. Uh, and click it with... You're the refinery module, okay. Oh. So this is like a whole mechanic. You need to find the on button for everything or nothing will happen. Oh. It probably would have been more obvious if they made me look at those ones first, but they made me look at this one first, where like the difference between storage module and storage module is so slight that you don't necessarily expect it to be mean that the, that the storage module is secretly two objects the whole time. And you need to maximize copper production. Uh, we're all out of material now. All right. Then the sulfur power. Okay. Um, is it in here? Oh yeah, thirty copper ingot is there. Copper scrap material that probably become more ingots. So those are all my crafting items. Go go go. Do it. Do you, can I, you can't turn scrap metal into stuff? Okay. Maybe it's already refined, so I can just craft it via stuff here. So I need four copper plates. Oh, hey, there's the core. Are we all set? Did I just make a core? I did. Upgrades. Oh, I already had one, though. Wait, where did it just go? Did I just lose it, or did it stack? Uh, it's fine. Copper bolts. One. Two. Tubes. Tubes. Plates, 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 plates. There we go. So I guess they're all hanging out in the in Yeah, they all hang out in the inventory. That's a relatively clean thing. I like that I don't have to carry items from spot to spot on this place. That's that's clean-ish. Produce ship core. Did I already do that? Yeah, I already made one. Produce ship core T1. I already got that, right? Yeah. Make it again? Yeah, it didn't count the first time. Alright, produce breach replacement. Uh, click at the menu button in the product production state. Oh, wait, no, consumables. Make two of those. Production module T1. It's in the modules tab. Refinery module T1. There we go. Did I not make the first one? I must have cancelled it by clicking something else. I'm running out of copper. Energy. You skip this message by pressing enter. Energy is needed to have production running. Look at the core status panel. Energy indicator shows available points. Balance indicator shows the difference between input and output. If you have no power plants opened, energy will go down and balance will be negative. If enough power plants opened, energy will go up and balance will be positive. Okay. Look at the core status panel. Is this it? Oh yeah. So my energy is currently about yeah. So we're drawing four energy away, but we're generating five. So we currently have a net gain, which means we're we're gonna be good on energy. Slots. Every opened module occupies a slot. Core slots indicator shows you available number of slots. If you reach the limit, you won't be able to open any more modules. You first have to close modules to open others. You can skip this mesh pressing enter. Let's see. So we have, they're saying we have limited modules on this vehicle. So we can close the refinery and production modules. And now our power is at zero, zero. 
Full energy. We have closed modules. Energy bar is full. Balance has no negative output. You can... Uh, available slots. The more slots that are now available, if you open the modules, they will be occupied again. You can skip this message per second. I keep saying it out loud. It's like, no, don't read your stage directions, dude. <laughs> uh, pick the shore, the ship core from the storage. There we go. Yeah. Click. There we go. And these guys. And that guy. There we go. And visit the captain. We did it. We have received a distress call of a heavily damaged drill ship that will soon surface close to your location. Use this to your advantage and claim the drill ship. Claim drill ship by placing ship core upgrade. Okay. Oh yeah, there it is out there. 177 meters out. Let's get over there. Can I go through these? Oh, I can. Weird. So this is the thing you spend the whole game in, I believe, is the drill ship. More or less. The, uh... The ship, I think, is like an, an introduction, a tutorial. There you are. Here's the thing we saw on the title screen. It's neat. Are those enemies? Those are enemies, aren't they? Oh, they're shooting me with guns! Goodbye, frame rate. You dropped all the way down from 60 to 18. Oh, they just were nice enough to carry around refined copper for me. Very polite. That was loud. Oh, they burned their way through it. This place is not in a good shape. Wow. Why does this volcanic island have evil robots? What is that correlation? Cores. Contact captain through radio on drill ship? The drill ship is heavily damaged. You have to fix it before using it to its full potential. Gather materials and use submarines devices to construct needed equipment. Place modules, door, window, production and refinery to the drill ship. Quick repair tool. Yeah. Well, can't repair that. Probably just need more copper or something. Hmm. Does it say anything? Hmm. The refinery's right- ooh. Come sticking out the back. And you can turn it on and on- on and off from out here too. That's a visual. You're neat. Drill ship is now fully operational with production and refinery systems running. You are capable to advance in the island exploration if you lose production module or any other important device. Build new in the submarine. So the submarine's our fallback location. It's the bare minimum of a base, and I can fall back there whenever I completely run out of resources, basically. Oh no. It's okay, we're okay, I'm sorry. It thinks we're under attack because I hit it. Really, I'm just marveling at the fact that these things are so destructible. Look at this. There's a lot of destructible parts. I was hoping to turn it into resources, but, you know, I'll take it. I don't think the floor is destructible. Not, 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 not that kind of open world survival game. We're all out of that. I'm supposed to need coal too. There we go. So if I set the refinery up to process these resources, I should be able to make enough to at least make it so that we have walls correctly. Again, I would hope.
There we go. I think I think the appeal here is that not only do you have this base you craft that has this cool steampunk thing going on, but the base itself moves and drills and moves around the environment. So you have a mobile base as you investigate this whole volcano situation. And that's a pretty cool idea. Uh, let's put... Production station. Where's my refinery station? What's in here? Oh, more of these guys. Let's put these guys away. I've got way too many of those. Might want to keep the ammo on hand. Is it up here? There's my energy information. Work table. Online. Let's put those in there. There we go. So now we have resources in this base, like we did before. Go to the power module in the ceiling and click E on it. There we go. Bit of a learning curve to this game, just trying to figure out what the hell your surroundings mean and what these interactions are. Okay, so much like the other one, the periscope is nowhere near my actual vehicle. It's a weird external view. I'm not really sure how it's doing that, but okay. How do I turn those ingots into ore? Refinery station, there you are. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble finding it, apparently. Is there like a do maximum number button? In oh, infinity, cool. Yeah, make infinite iron. Just always make it. There we go. Alright. Let's get busy with you. I think you can only queue one type of item at a time. Right, consumables tab. Oh, breach replacement. Wait, didn't I... I'm consumed. I'm confused. Didn't I have a bunch of those already in my inventory? I guess I need to know how to use them. Because I already had them in my inventory. They're right here. Oh. Module repair kit. That's different from breach replacement. Gotcha. Uh, I don't have a door. It's probably bad, right? Okay, it's, it's ceiling to floor breach replacement. There we go. We're all fixed up in here. It looks all nice. And claustrophobic. And how do I leave? <laughs> I got myself in a little trouble, didn't I? Alright, uh, let's produce a door module. So I can never leave. Where is door? Uh, click the menu and button, click... Click the items that... And the, it's a... Object to character inventory? Where's the door module? Uh... Uh-oh. Volcano. Where are we on this map, anyway? Oh, that's the start. So we're probably near there-ish. Ooh. Oh, candles making noise at me. Um... I made a door module, didn't I? Storage. There it is, okay. Uh... I'm mixing that inventory up with this inventory, aren't I? Because this is like a box, but there's also a store- another storage module? This one. Alright, yeah, that's a little confusing, but okay. 
All right, so now I've got my door module. And let's go ahead and plop you in here. Right where the original door kind of, well, it's where I came in the first time. So it's, to me, it makes sense for there to be a door here. Contact captain through radio and drill ship. Uh, here you are. The storage module on the side of the drill ship is damaged. Produce it and use repair tool to fix it. Can I just use my existing repair kits? I have them. We're fine. How do I use one? How do I use one? Repair damaged module. Yeah, this one. Did I do it? It's still at 76%. Uh, oh, you press the go down button to go underground in order to escape the eruption. Neat. How do I repair this, though? No, don't deconstruct. Repair. Oh, left click is repair. It just isn't like an animation or anything. But here we go. There we go. I fixed it. Almost like new. Well done. How do I close the door? So I don't die. It's probably fine. Uh, click the go down button to go underground. There you are. Where's the periscope? It was up here, wasn't it? Yeah. Let's watch the eruption again. It'll be in 20 seconds. So it came from over there. We burrowed over there-ish? Oh, you can see the tracks of where we went. I wonder if that's consistent or just for the original spawn. <clears throat> the tracks look like a bunch of chunks, so it's probably modular enough that they can actually make it happen along the way. It's a nice looking town. Oh. I'm amazed that it survives these blasts, honestly. If this thing just does this every 20 minutes. Alright, well this is... Volcanoids. It seems like a neat game if you're into open world survival games. Yeah, it looks like you go around gathering resources and shooting robots and avo avoiding environmental hazards while you... edit and augment this cool... robot... drill machine. Were those trees destroyed before? I feel like that didn't happen before. That must have been a worse, an even worse one. Unless like time passes so fast that they recovered or something, I guess. I don't know. Let's try to go back up. There we go. There we are. Is there a save button somewhere? Oh, I know. I think I, I think I saw it say auto save a moment ago. Oh boy, look at it outside now. It's all ash. Like a hellscape. Alright. Cool idea for a game. So yeah, check out the link in the description if you want to try out this game for yourself. Thanks to the developers for sending me a code. And I'll see you guys next time. I'm gonna go jump in lava. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. You can't stop me. I'm crazy. Ow. I know, kind of a weird amount of self-preservation for someone that's about to hop in lava. Ah! You actually get burned when you're relatively nearby. You don't have to get that close to start feeling the... Yeah, look at that screen effect. Neat. You know what? I actually kind of want to run towards the volcano. If it's all the same to you. I mean, this is a straight-up volcanic game. 
I'd be remiss to wonder whether or not there's any columnar jointing just kind of wandering around in this game. Although there might be a lot of map to check. There it is. Right, there I am on the map. So it's pretty big, but not absolutely massive. Weird how, like, the kind of decayed trees just look like a bunch of floating... A bunch of floating leaves. Their tree destruction and process is a little mixed. Look at that. First reaction you'd usually have is the idea of it being, like, cobblestones, but it's probably... A basaltic flow that just kind of cooled that way. The pattern looks slightly weird. Like, of course, it's flat, so it's a thing that looks like a texture, but it's actually being expressed as just being flat because texture. Uh, but its appearance reminds me of pillow basalts a bit if we ignore the flatness of it. This does kind of remind me of going into, like, the Daedric lands and Morrowind. Dude, does it just stay this bad for, for, like, forever? This place hasn't really recovered to its previous green state. Maybe the game, maybe the map goes in cycles. So I think the robots actually spawned from those buildings we saw earlier. Like, they're, they're the inhabitants of this island now. So it kind of makes us feel like we're the intruders now, doesn't it? Ooh. Looks like there's an island out there that also has exposed magma. Look at this map. Oh! Another drill base. I guess one idea is that if you're playing in multiplayer, you can all have different drill bases. They're even called Area 1, 2, and 3. Whoa. Magma flow. I didn't see that a second ago. It looks a little weird. I wonder if area 1, 2, and 3... Huh. So I played a game... Was it called Rend or something? I played a uh, game where you competitively build up bases against each other and stuff like that. I kind of wonder if this is comparable to that. Like, what if you could play Versus where different teams spawn in different chunks of the map and they try to build up their... Each one has their own drill base they're trying to build up. Because the game does say I'm hosting, so this should be... This game should have multiplayer. The blurring effect is severe when you're near near magma. Oh. The local lava sound just kind of cut out. All right, well I've 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 prolonged this enough now. Thanks for watching like always guys. Check out the game if you want. See you next time. Mm -hmm.